fashion, love the drip fashion. Ha, ha. I'm scoring the bar, you passing, got a brain of cash. I got a brain of cash and doing Louis fashion. Yeah, yeah. I got a brain of cash and talk it, I ain't bragging. Ha. I got them diamond dancing, love the drip fashion. fashion, fashion. I'm scoring the bar, you passing, got a brain of cash. And woo, woo. Got a brain of cash and doing Gucci fashion. Ha. Got a brain of cash and talk it, I ain't bragging. Ha. Ha. She say she love the kids, fell in love with this. What's good? Y'all know what time it is. I'm G6 Wheels in the Builder. Another episode of Fat Podcast. I got a family. I got a crew. Y'all know how we move here. We in with Blessings World. It's Cute Visionary. Welcome to Fat Podcast. Let's get it. <laughs> My nigga. What's <laughs> really good? Hey, man. She, man. You know. <laughs> Thank you. Love, man. Thank you. Love. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, we got a special guest in the building, my partner, my homie, man, my hey, what's going on? What's happening with you, bro? Chill Gates in the building. What's going on? Man, talk to me, man, what we got going on now? Tell them a little bit about yourself, what you got going on, what the move is. So, okay, cool. So, mainly what we do, what we doing right now is just working with businesses, because what we done found out is that 80% of, so it's 5, 534,000 businesses get started every month, mm -hmm. and then eight out of 10 of those businesses shut down within about 18 months. And the main reason it is, why, why y'all think it is? What's what would y'all say the number one reason is? Uh, lack of lack knowledge. Of yeah, yeah, lack yeah. of knowledge. Not lack of capital. Yeah, and the lack of capital, playing the whole nine, but mainly lack of capital. And the lack of capital come from not knowing how to get customers and get clients. Mm -hmm. So most people come out with this great product. We know people who can cook and all this. They start a restaurant, but mm -hmm. they shut down because they don't know how to get customers. They, exactly. They're good at something, but they, don't, they forget marketing. They go to school to get a you know, business management degree or marketing degree or whatever, but they don't really learn how, how to market, how to get customers field. right. In the field. So the main thing we've been doing is working with clients, showing them how to use the internet to get as many clients as they can handle. So okay. they can scale the business up to six, seven figures, multiple seven figures, okay. depending so, on how big they want to grow. Okay, okay. So, so, so they really like, that's for any type of business, any type yeah. of, could it work for music? Any type, any type of business. So it just the I whole. Did some with, I did some with DJs, I, I, we, you know, we, we did some, but yeah. bro, we know how bro is. But yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We did so with the music. Shout out to yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we, so we, with the music, whatever. Because once you understand the marketing and the principles that come with it, um, it worked. And we, it, we kind of, it, it is the same transferable skills that we bring from the streets and bring exactly. it here. And then you just package it up different, just a different product. So did you go to school for it, or just something you picked up in the field? So I just picked it up in the field. So I got, so I, the way I got it, so I, you know, I, I jumped down the streets as an entrepreneur early, right? So what I jumped, you mean? so I jumped out selling drugs early on, you know, I was about to say you know, so that's kind of yeah. where I started. This, 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 well, this, this, this the ghetto. Yeah, yeah. So, so I started, so I started off, you know, cutting grass. You know, taking the trash out in the neighborhood. Yeah, them younger, younger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then when I started figuring out what my big cousin they were doing, they had to work. So I jumped out, started playing with the work, dropped out of high school, Bands just went work. full time with the work. So you know how I was moving in. <laughs> yeah, the money yeah, yeah. So I started moving that, and I'm like, it ain't make sense for me to go to school no more at that point. So I, I, so when I got older, started getting locked up. Then I had my first son who with me now. Um, and I was like, I got to switch things up a exactly. little bit. So and I, I want to, I want to cut you off, but to cut you off. No, no, no disrespect. Yeah. That's why I want to go back to that part too, cause the street niggas like we be talking about yeah. all the time. They need to see, okay, you can go do this, you can go do For that. Sure. And, then, want... and then, my bad, my bad, yeah. cut you, I ain't cut you off, but it ain't even that that they can that you you still you, you right exactly learn. right right right. You know what I'm saying? They For need sure. to Fans. see us look like us and do our thing instead exactly. of looking like point white desk. folks. Right, right. You can be you. You can do. You can yeah. do you. You gotta. You gotta just. You gotta just know who you are and then own that exactly. and then, you know capitalize on. on so it. I go into a lot of rooms. I got clients who like doctors and lawyers and white folks and Indians and Asian all over the world. And when you know what you know, they don't really care if you got goals. They don't care they if don't you dropped out of high school. They don't care if you got. Tats. They care about the bottom line. They care about the bottom line. They don't care if you. Let me ask you this, right? For you know, entrepreneur. If somebody wants to start a business, what's the first thing you tell them to do? First thing you gotta do is figure out what problem you want to solve. Okay. So, that, so all businesses solve problems. Mm -hmm. You know, so it ain't about what's the problem you solve. So if somebody wants to start a business, all right, what problem you want to solve? So my six year old, he be talking about he wants to start a business. I'm like, what problem are you gonna solve? Is that? So that's the that's the first conversation. So all all businesses solve problems. So that's number one. Okay. So if your business, does your business solve a problem? So our business is solve a problem, a big problem. That's that's the one I explained earlier. Like mm -hmm. eight out of 10 businesses gonna go out of business within 18 months. 
no matter what. And the reason that is because they don't know how to get clients. So you so have you data. Solve, that we, that solve, we solve that problem. So you have, so yeah. in going into these meetings, you have data that supports what you're saying when you talk to them. Yeah, and we got a crazy amount of success stories. So we got all of so our clients to date then generated over twenty million dollars in revenue. Okay. And they can go to our site and go through our pro, see our marketing and they can see all these clients who didn't apply and what, what we did. Doing. So it speaks for itself. Okay. You know what I'm how long have you been doing this? So we've been doing about seven years. That's a blessing. Yeah. Okay. Damn, like, what's up? And we just soft self taught. So like you said, I didn't go to school for. Yeah. We saw what, made you, what you saw to say, fuck, made you leave the street to go do this. So, actually, every time I talk yeah, to you, yeah. we, every time we talk, we got more, you know what I mean? People absolutely, know, absolutely. So. absolutely. So, so, all right, so long story short, I was in the club one night, right? My partner on um, BA had just did a mixtape release party. He had me come to it. Was it No, 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 this one that was, um, it was on Fig 8. Remember when Fig 8 was oh, yeah, on yeah, counter? Yeah, okay. yeah. So I was in the Fig 8, and then my partner Chad, well, I didn't even know Chad, he thought I was somebody else. He thought I was Windsor. Okay. So he walked up to me and was like, hey, um, he was like, hey, if everybody, who you know with a cell phone? I was like, everybody know got a cell phone. He was like, what about every time they pay their phone bill, you got paid? And I'm like, all right, that sounds interesting. So he was like, one of my multi-millionaire mentors gonna be in town this Wednesday, and we're looking for some folks who wanna make some money because we're expanding in this area. Exactly. I'm hearing some shit. Like yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. I him, so I'm like, okay, like that. so I'm like, okay, man. Like that. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, so I yeah, went, so, so I ain't know what it was though. I and um, DJ, I, so I went Wednesday. I had DJ come get me. DJ went with me. Yeah. We went to the meeting. It was at Wayland in Riverdale, and they broke the whole. They had the video phones. And they were talking about they gonna make all this money. And I'm like, it was, it, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. on the 500 to get in. Yeah. I'm like, well, 500. Yeah. We spent that in the club. Exactly. So, so we dropped the 500. I paid half for DJs to get in, and um, that 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 exposed me to this whole world. Yeah, and then exactly. when I start seeing these folks making all this money, legit, real money, you know, real yeah. money, and you can't, can't nobody take it from you. Can't nobody take the money from you. You ain't got to worry about the exactly. feds. You ain't got to exactly. worry about this. You you sleep differently. Exactly. You move yeah. differently. So I'm like, it just, I was fucking it's, with it's that. a way better situation. Yeah, I was so, fucking with that financial. So I dove in that head first, and then that's what led me into learning this online marketing and this consulting, you know, next level type of stuff. But that yeah. kind of that was my gateway into this whole world. Okay. okay. But yeah, I want to do it. Yeah, shout out to our sponsors, man. Buy snacks. Y'all want the snacks, the real, real snacks? Not that bullshit. It's the real <laughs> snacks, man. You know what I mean? Ain't buy snacks, snacks man. Yo. He on one right now. <laughs> we got the cookies. What is it, the rice paper treat? What up we got, guy? Yeah, the rice paper treat. The drinks. Yeah. Tell them about them drinks, shit. Man, that shit get you so motherfucking hot, man. <laughs> I'm talking about, bro. We this got all that. And five snacks, man. Good green juice. But, good. but yeah, though, so uh, when you got into the shit, when you realized the point, okay, this shit, what convinced you that this shit real? So I saw, I saw a lot of people go to the means and they see it, but they don't, still don't believe so it. So I started with that, right? Yeah. And what they, so at first they told me, you know, all you gotta do is get two and they'll get two and they'll get two, you're making all this money. That was cool, but I ran out of people to talk to. Everybody was telling me it was a pyramid scheme exactly. and wasn't real and all yeah, that. Yeah. So I had to figure out how to get people to me. Cause I, it was either me figure out how to make this work or jump back in the streets. Yeah. And at this time I kinda, I had I had played at, so I had played at a really high level and I didn't really wanna, it, it was a different type of situation if I got jammed up at that point and yeah. I had my son and I didn't wanna you know be tied up and all that. That's why I wasn't trying to do no fed time and you know, none of this type of stuff. I had to stop <laughs> this fun. So I'm like, I gotta figure out how, to, no, how, how do I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How do I navigate this? Exactly. So it was either figure this stuff out or go back to that. Yeah. So long story short, I was like, I gotta figure out how to make it happen. Somebody introduced me to online marketing. Like, how did you get leads and people coming to you? And I saw these white boys making all this money. And I'm like, all right, if these folk really making money and they're gonna show me, and they were selling training and courses on how to do it. So I'm like, if these folk gonna show me how to do it, yeah. I can learn it. I ain't stupid. Exactly. Just right. like in the streets. Like when my big homies taught me how to, you know, exactly. work the work. I learned that. So exactly. if you teach me how to do something, I'm gonna do it. I, I can do it. What you, 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 you charge for the game? Like how I set up? Like people come to your seminars, you So we got so we do events. So I got an event coming up on the seventh that we're doing. It's only like ninety seven dollars for that event. Okay. So it's like a little intro event where they can come. In Atlanta? Yeah, it's in Atlanta. So, um, so we do. I so we do events, and then we do like high ticket, like consulting and stuff like that. Depends. Tell on. them the exact date and how they can get the tickets. So the event is um is more. I don't know when we're going live, but it's but it's March seventh. Um, and if you want to get details, it's rbgblive.com. But we're doing regularly, so if you miss this one, you know, go to rbgblive.com. Okay. So you, so you can get out. Of, yeah, you can get all the details on that. Okay. Let me ask you this: outside of the uh, seminars that you um that you offer. Um, are there actual classes that you um, have and things of that nature? Yeah, so we do, so we either do, so we do this one day event mm -hmm. and then we, we got like a three day event. Okay. 
and then we got like a 12 week like coaching program okay so knowing what you know about business what do you feel that a lot of urban communities are missing out on as far as the knowledge is concerned because i know you said you went out there and you went and acquired this knowledge because you you know you had your humble beginning right and that helped you know create who you are but what do you feel like our community is missing i think our community is missing um like long-term vision mm -hmm. like we want a lot of time we want to jump in and we want to pop immediately okay so we don't got the long-term vision to like stick with nothing long enough because we see a lot of times in the music, it seemed like folks done popped off fast, but we don't really see what been to happen behind the scenes. Yeah. So that really having that long-term vision and then just really understanding the marketing, like really understanding the marketing and it ain't about having a great product. I mean, we know a lot of people who, so we, I'm gonna give you an example. Oh, Camerton Road, if you're in Atlanta, go to Camerton Road Stems, they got these turkey burgers and they crazy. Mm -hmm. okay. And they be packed, yeah. but they, they burgers better than any other burger I'd ever had, right? However, turkey most per turkey burgers, most people ain't never heard of them though. Yeah, you don't count to them. Them. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Most people ain't never heard of them. But everybody heard of who? McDonald's, mm -hmm. yeah. Burger King, Wendy's, because it's the marketing. We a lot of times we think it's just about having a good product, but it's the marketing 100. percent So it's about having that long term vision and then the, the marketing. Market. So, so 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 what would you say to? Because I had in mind said not with you, just in general. Mm -hmm. If a motherfucker teaching me how to get all that money, I expect for them to be like Richard Hill. Right. Or at least, like, Close could we it. go out finances yeah. to the shit by the money? Like, mm -hmm. I ain't trying to just love what you teach. Right. I'm trying to apply what you teach. And mm -hmm. is, is it working like that for you or are you doing it for the love of it? Because I, I feel like niggas be feeling like, nigga, how you going to say this and you ain't Richard Hill? Right. And from, from the nigga, from the, you know, yeah, in the yeah, hood, yeah, yeah, looking yeah. at this shit. Exactly. Right. So how can you sway a motherfucker in your way, you know what I mean? Yeah. However it is, whether you rich or here. I think it's a mentality shift. Whoop, whoop. So for me, so for me, it like, for me, I ain't trying to sway nobody. Mm -hmm. It's like, what we do, it's already proven. Yeah. Like, it's either like, you, you want the help or you don't. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I ain't doing, I'm, I do it because I love it, but it got to make sense too. I got my, my oldest son, yeah, I got yeah. a 16 year old, and we got a daughter who, who go to Albany State. Yeah, okay. So it got to make sense. My wife don't work. You know what I'm saying? She going to school to be a nurse. She don't go to, she, don't, she ain't worked in five years. Okay. And we got, what? How many kids we got? And we got, we got four other kids. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, we ain't doing this just. Yeah, for yeah. the fun of it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Well, we don't want to see the paper when they talk of paper, so. Yeah, I just got back really from London. I just spoke in London no, no, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I just spoke okay, in Toronto. Okay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so we, we, know, we, we international. Exactly. That's what I really want you to do, too, is like, let them know who you is. Yeah, yeah. Why they yeah, shouldn't no, be listening no, to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. ain't flexing, just let them know my resume. know who you is. When you go to a job, you give them your resume, right? Right, right. No big right. I mean, I just move differently, so I just kind of I come from a different area. I come from a different area, so like, yeah. if you ask the questions, I'm gonna like, answer them. But it's like, I'm still kind of in that box where, where yeah. I come from. You say yeah, yeah, certain yeah. stuff you don't say. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? What's ain't gotta be explained. Exactly. Yeah. But it's like whatever y'all want to know, we can talk about it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I ain't doing nothing just for the fun of it. That's yeah, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. <laughs> my kids like George. My kids mm -hmm. like traveling. We take a, we we travel every every quarter. Yeah, we go somewhere. So they like that. They, they they they. My kids bougie. They like you know yeah. traveling. <laughs> eating that nice. Really good. So yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen, cause yeah. he bullshit. Yeah. What's up? Let me ask you this. When it comes to business model, right? Because you seem to be pretty astute when it comes to that. Do you feel like the model that's in the street intertwines with an actual contemporary business model? So basically, uh, what you do now in comparison to the streets? I mean, the the business is still the same. Would you say so? Yeah, I think I think all the skills transferable, right? Okay. So in in the streets, you 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 solving the problem, right? You know what I'm saying? Somebody want to get high, depending on what you're selling, you know, it's it solves a specific problem. You know, right. PL sell a specific problem. You know, selling crack that solves a specific problem. We yeah. it's a specific problem. If people come to you because they got you yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like um it's an all those skills. So like for example, I always tell people when I speak at like youth events, we do a youth event and all that, I always tell the kids, like, look, if you can sell drugs, you can sell anything. Mm -hmm. If you can sell drugs, you can build a multi million dollar business because you understand branding. Mm -hmm. You understand cause you gotta know branding because they gonna know Correct. all right, be a homie got the go best. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If we go see bro, it's gonna be I, right, but it's yeah. gonna be cheap. That's but right. if we go see bro, it's gonna be A one, but it's gonna cost a little bit more. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. that's that's branding. Yeah. And then you know sales. You know sales if you're on the block or whatever, you you know how you got sales, you got critical 
overthinking. Mm -hmm. For me, I wasn't never the type of person who stand on the block because it ain't never made sense to me exactly. to be standing on the block with 10, 15 other niggas and I already know these folks gonna pull up at any given time. Exactly. That's critical thinking. You know what I'm saying? Fast. You gotta understand leadership because if you don't understand leadership, you're gonna get taken advantage of. You gotta exactly. know how to move and be around the right people and all that. You understand marketing, you understand product, mm -hmm. product development, you got yeah. brand awareness, all that. That's all high level business, but we don't think like that when we're in the streets moving the shape. Let me ask you this, right? If a young nigga come to you right now, and I don't know if you do mentorship, but he come to you on some mentorship type shit, what would you tell him? Like, he want to get out, but this all he know. First thing you got to do is decide, bro, because like, I'm going to give you an example, man. So, like, for me, so everybody, when I was in the street, everybody knew me for, like, being up, up. Exactly. But I went through a phase where I won up. Yeah. But ain't nobody really yeah. know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they knew me for being up. Oh, yeah. exactly. You see what I'm saying? But exactly. I, I just kind of I fell back though. Cause but I kind of went to a spot where because when I was doing the legit stuff, mm -hmm. I was still had like one foot in the streets. But it was at a point because I had got I had got a warrant. I got caught up with a warrant. It was on Rice Street. And I'm like, I gotta cut everything off. Because I was still trying to do two. Yeah. Do both of them. And like Nipsey. Yeah. Nipsey said when he really transitioned from the streets just to do the music, he said he went like two years just in the studio exactly. and everything dried up. Right, exactly. and that was the recipe same thing. Me. Yeah, recipes yeah. music. Everything dried up because you gotta choose which got direction to. you gonna go. You, you can't, can't do dry up when you switch to the other world. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be willing to go through that dry up though. You got to so you can build onto your next thing. But most people ain't willing to do that. Willing to do and that. most most people in the street, man, they they think they getting money, but you I mean some of them don't get me wrong. You can get some money, but a lot of times when you ain't exposed to it's like real, real, real money, you, you think you get money. You think you get some money, money. but you sometimes you gotta sacrifice that money you get. To go get real. Yeah, money. yeah. You gotta let go of something to you kinda gotta get be around home. that shit though too. Yeah, for That's sure. I like I, a lot of time I bring my kids when I do shit like this or so I'm mm -hmm. around certain people or doing certain things. Right, I see you got your son here. So it's like let them see that shit and expose them to that yeah. so they with that And then you can shoot. That's yeah. why I tell my kids, yeah. like, look, you ain't gonna be able to say you ain't know no better. I'm, I'm gonna expose you to everything. Exactly. I'm gonna give you all the opportunities. Tell me that. The books, the you know, the access, you get to choose. You, exactly. you won't be able to say you ain't had no dad if ain't telling you. Let me ask you this, looking into fatherhood, right? Like, so when fatherhood came, how it changed you and what it, you know? Bruh, fatherhood changed everything for me, bro. Cause like when I grew up, my dad wasn't around. Fair. So I ain't want to not be around. You know what I'm saying? So that's what, that was the biggest reason I decided to change what I was doing. Cause I'm like, if I keep doing this, one thing just lead to another in the street. That's just how it go, right? Yeah. So yeah. But I, I know I want to be in my kid's life. So that's what really made me transition and like, if you think business hard, I mean fatherhood, that's one of the most fatherhood and being yeah. married and all that. Those are the most hardest hard things. things in the world. They're the hardest yeah. things in the world. You know you what I'm saying? You gotta give up a lot of shit. You gotta yeah. take, you know what I mean? It's you gotta like, grow. You gotta grow. You gotta grow. And it's it ain't no book on it. Ain't no book to ain't like no. teach you the play by play. You gotta, you know what I'm saying, get up. How many kids you got if you don't mind? I got uh we got, we got five. Okay. I got a, my youngest is three months, and I got a five year old. Congratulations. Six year old, appreciate it. My sixteen year old. And we got an 18 year old. Your Auburn first State. girl, how old is she? I'm um, 18. Okay, so when you got your first girl, what'd that do for you? So here's the crazy thing. My so my wife already had a girl, I already had a boy. Okay. So that that's essentially the only girl we got. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Do the same rules still apply? Like when she started dating and Yeah, same rules still apply. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Same rules. How you handle it? I mean, you just do. <laughs> you, gotta deal with that you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just right, try to be ahead. lame, bro. You know what I mean? I try to understand. I think about the girls who was um who parents were strict, mm -hmm. and I think about the girls who parents were cool. And I, exactly. and I throughout the history to me, all the girls who parents were strict. Then was the action? Were really off the chain. Yeah. Exactly. And the ones who had the freedom. They go outside. They might bust it off for one nigga, but the school ain't got down. The whole school ain't hit. Look, I can't go with one football nigga. They break up when they graduate. Type she shit. Wife. Yeah. I can deal with it. Exactly. You know I mean? Exactly. I'm preparing my mind for this. So, bullshit. so how many times have they like? Okay, when your daughter came, you with the first dates and shit. Cause your daughter holding my son answers like, you know what I mean. No, nah, so I mean at first, so she kind she kind of had the conversation with me first, really before she even had it with her mom, and I'm like, look, you gotta understand that you're the trophy, like you the you, is that you you can choose your if you're gonna lower your value. I was like, look at yourself as this valuable diamond. Is exactly. that you can choose to lower your value if you want to, or you can may hold your value. Facts. So it's up to you how you choose to move. Because everything, it boils down to decision, man. We can talk to we blow in the face. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I look at, too. When I look at my my, my daughter, I'll be like, 
I remember feeling like daddy shut the hell up. No matter how much he be talking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I remember my brothers and my big homies talking to me just being raw. Let me, it, it hit me different. So why do you think that happened? I guess because it was raw. Yeah. You know and you hear saying? different. You hear different from other people. Yeah. So yeah. I try to say it to. I try to say it to them like I'm another person. Like, look, don't be out here fucking these niggas. So I say straight up. <laughs> straight up. Straight up. Right. Yeah, look, I talk to my dog. Want you? Like, look, I, you. I, I know this. Right. Exactly. You you gonna talk to little nigga that cool? Let me meet the little nigga. You yeah. Want to the movie? Just let me know, boom, you feel me? Be there, don't be in there, letting nigga play all in. Yeah, cool. yeah. I can only say that. No, yeah. I, I, I can say that because instead of playing, don't right. be in the movie again, face. You feel man. me? No, <laughs> oh, hell no, nah, because nigga don't remember that. Exactly. They're going to get that. They're going to be a stain on your name. You feel me? Yeah. I, and I remember the girl I went to the movie with who was like, hell no. Nah. Exactly. Right. Yeah, I respect them to this day. I still, still respect them. You feel me? Mm -hmm. One so nigga fish. played with. Mm hmm. You feel me? Exactly. I don't want to be there. I keep. I don't know. I keep real with it. Though. Yeah, you got to let them know. Stay. You know what I mean? I try to keep I, it open. How real you keep it with your kids? Like as far as it, like. I just be direct. I just I keep it direct. I just like this. What this was going on? You know, kids typically think. Um, my fat. Let me switch that question. Like, do they know who you are? Yeah. Okay. So, so you run into the problem with pop this guy. No, nah, you still gonna run through that. You gonna just go? Kids yeah. think we old. Yeah. 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 They like. Yeah, that's how it was when you were, you yeah. know what I mean? That's yeah. how it was, when, yeah, that's how it was back in the day. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's how they feel. But they're like, no, nah, it ain't changed. It's, exactly. it's the same thing. Human psychology never changed. Exactly. Like, folks who you around, it's still the same thing. Yeah, y'all got technology. That's the only thing that changed. Exactly. But like, they think like, right, way back in the day, you know? So like, for example, my six-year-old especially, he was like, we are talking about segregation one day, you know, yeah. when they say, yeah. he was like, that, he was like, that's when you was alive back then, doing segregation? <laughs> 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 but yeah, they, 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 no, they think we old, bro. So they think yeah, they, do. they, 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 they do. experiencing something completely different than they what do. we yeah. experience. They're like, no, it ain't nothing different. Mm -hmm. It's the yeah. same thing. Yeah. My, kid teach, my kid teach me some shit though. Like we was, I was trying to work something the other day. And I was like, it don't work. Yeah. They grabbed and said, yes it do. Yeah. yeah. And it, oh, oh they, they know that technology. Yeah. But sometimes you got to let them learn for themselves. That's a bad, let them learn for themselves. Cause sometimes my older son, we have a conversation, we'll talk about something and then something happened. I'll be like, man, we had that conversation. He was like, yeah, I'm mm -hmm. like, I always end up playing out like that, right? He was like, yeah, I'm like. Yeah. So you got, sometimes you got to let them learn, learn on their own. That's what it is. Let's get into the uh, music shit, right? But before we do that, I want to shop out CNA Carpet Cleaning. You need your carpet took care of, you know what I mean? Get them a call, 404-391-5810, CNA Carpet Cleaning. But yeah, so, uh, let's switch to the music shit, right? Okay. Your Mount Rushmore, who put on for now? Well, not necessarily the music, it could be influences, whatever. Your, your Mount Rushmore for the city. For the city. Yeah. Um, for just for the city, oh, how many is on my words? One, five, four, four, four. four. Yeah, four. Herman J. Russell. Uh, explain who he is. People yeah, don't know. There you go. Man, Herman J. Russell built the city, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, telling y'all, yeah. read the book. If y'all ain't read the book, I be built, saying the Russell. Yeah, build that. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he just yeah. um, they just opened the whole Russell Center right there on um Northside Drive, yeah. right there by um, Russell is too. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right there by what's the restaurant? Um, Northside Pasco. By Pasco. Yeah. Right next to Pasco. They got a whole yeah. center right there, entrepreneurship facility where you can go in like a co working. And in Georgia State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got school at Georgia State. Man, look, mm -hmm. Herman Russell built. The Marta, his company built the whole Marta rail situation. Mm -hmm. They so built, they built the it. Omni. Remember the Omni? Yeah, man, they yeah. built the Omni. They built the Phillips Arena State Farm. When he get him they built, him. they built. Now he did. Yeah, he did. Oh, okay. He did. But, his, he did, but, but if you get, yeah, um, if you get up, Jay, Jay the one who run the Herman Center. Okay. So, bro, y'all probably can get him up here. But like, um, they built literally the city. Like he got a book called Build Atlanta. Read it. I'm telling you, like, it's one of my favorite books ever. So. Herman Russell, he, bro, official like, and he started. And he from he from Summer Hill, grew yeah. up. Okay, grew up. No, no piping, no none in the house. Yeah. You know, he had to go out in the backyard and use yeah. the bathroom. Yeah. Like he started he fur, he started fur business outside, cross the street with a shoe shining situation. Uh -huh. So like, okay. and built it all the way what up. What name that book again? Um, build, yeah. building Atlanta. Okay. Like he, he used to be the one. He one of the ones like when MLK them used to do all that protesting. Yeah. And, yeah. and, they, and, they, and they used to lock everybody up. Yeah. He's the one who's come with the bag and like buying out three, four hundred people. Like, look, let me get all two, three hundred. Mm -hmm. okay. These people out. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So bro, check him out. out. Herman J. Russell. Uh, I'll probably say Maynard. 
Maynard okay. Jackson. Maynard Jackson. Yeah, Maynard, so Maynard, so Herman J. Russell, they also built, you know, the whole strip at the at the movie, I mean, at the movies, at the um the airport. You mm -hmm. know, when you're pulling out the landing strip. Yeah. They paved his company paved all that too. And Maynard actually gave him the job because they had to hire a certain amount of minorities. So the boys stick together. Yeah, so Maynard was like, all right, we're gonna hire the Russell. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it yeah. 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 Keep it yeah. Okay, so oh, Maynard Jackson. Yeah. So Maynard Jackson, Herman J. Russell. I uh, check these folks out too. Uh I'ma say um uh, I'm gonna have to say Tyler Perry, bro. I gotta okay. say Tyler. Okay. Tyler putting on real big for the city. He bringing okay. a lot of money to the city. So Tyler Perry, and let me think of one more. Who would this be solid? Herman J. Um, Maynard. Maynard. Tyler Perry. Uh, dang, who would be another one, bro? It's a tough one. Give me one music. One music. One music. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm probably say. I probably say P. P. Yeah. yeah, quality control. You'll probably say yeah. P. Okay. Cause he yeah. putting yeah. Cause he putting a lot of folks on. For yeah. Atlanta, who else came out with a label out of Atlanta that just doing what he And doing like literally him? putting other folks on. Like Tip, he did his thing. No no shit. But not Tip ain't really putting no, Tip ain't really putting nobody on. Like not he them, them boys putting folks on. Tip put them on that gym. Tip ain't really putting nobody on like he, that. Yeah. He ain't really getting nobody he, no for real. That would be real. Nobody. Yeah. That would be real. He ain't shining light on nobody. Like I don't want to say that because I say it, guy. It's good for the company or what? <laughs> say that shit, nigga. What you mean? <laughs> Tip put niggas on, niggas was trash. That's, that's how you feel. I'm trying to feel, feel man. Nah, I don't know about that. Joe See, nigga be needy. Let's get into that. Nigga be needy. Joe got a nice Nigga be needy. Just say my name and put me on the video with you and let me do it a couple shows. That's how I need. You gotta do more. It's gonna be more than that, bro. I'm saying, no, because the artist is lazy. If you doing ninety percent of the work already, when a nigga come, I don't need to be ten from you, bro. I don't need you to do the whole hunt down. I don't did all that. I just need you to shine the light. I need the market. That's how I come to you for. I don't did everything else. I need the market. Boom. You know what I'm thinking of too? Be now. Niggas be mean too much, bro. I think. I think. I don't, I don't think. And if I come to you and say I'm gonna start a beat, I need you to do everything. Yeah. You gonna look at me like I'm fucking crazy. Yeah, nigga, I, 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 I agree, folks be like, what you about to say, bro? I don't, I don't think they. I think they lazy. I think they lazy. Exactly. I think they lazy. Nigga be lazy. I think they lazy, but I look at the time. I look at the time that I changed the shit. That real shit. I look at. I look at Peter at the time that he did it. That's a bonus. He able to look. He he able to look at numbers and say, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, that's a bonus. He able to look at numbers and say, all right, what that nigga number doing? He mm. like you getting a head start. Right. On this shit, I think with T.I. Omar, who got a Bulls, who got talent. You know what I'm saying? And taking a big bag. But took his homeboy, like nigga. Matt Bone and them, and all them niggas. Them niggas won't have no ball. He just put them out there. They yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like you put it out there. I'm talking about the P and the tip era, though. I'm talking about P for his, like, his label. But you got to think, what artist ever put other artists out like that, though, other than Jay? And uh, ain't no other artist really put no other artist out other than Jay Z. That ain't true. Who other artist it? A lot of artists. Who? Fat Joe. Fat Joe. Who Fita said? Who Fat Joe put up? Oh, uh, Big Pun. Big, Big Pun in front yeah. of him. Yeah. Fita put out four artists. They went platinum. Who? Oh, yeah. Gang, bang, 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 bang. Yeah, yeah. Also, most of them. Okay. Yeah, so I guess no artist from the South then, I guess. Master P yeah. did. Yeah. Master P? I mean, Master P is a business man, though. Master P. Was, I rapper. think Master P was a business man rapper. first. He yeah. just ended up rapping. Yeah, yeah. rapper. Yeah. For the South? A rapper from the South? Thug. Because Gunna and Keep have. Um, yeah. yeah. Birdman was just saying he gave yeah. Thug the whole game. So mm -hmm. I'm like. Yeah. But like P, I would say for the, so for the city, P, I mean, P ain't. I mean, P, okay, P, so P, P doing P. anything. That's yeah, cool. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh. So what's going on now, man? Like, uh, what's the next thing you into? Let me ask you this. Do you ever want to jump back into music or film or all so, that type of stuff? So me and Winslow, we did so we did so we wrote and we produced the movie what a couple years ago. We just ain't just ain't wrapped it up. It's done, but we just gotta go through like the post production and all that. But we just ain't really sat down and did that. In terms of the music. What movie they did? The movie called Breaking the Cycle. Remember when I did that book? Yeah, I was oh, in that movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You was in the movie. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you remember the movie. It's like yeah, that movie. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's done filming wise. We just got to finish the post production and all that to actually put it out. So we'll probably do it sometime, actually put it out sometime this year or early next year or something like that once okay. we sit down and finish it up. 
In terms yeah. of getting making the music, I mean, a lot of people be reaching out to me about the music, but like you said, man, folks be lazy, man. Folks, folks will hit you up like, hey, man, you want me to manage? I mean, can you manage me? But that mean put the bag up. Yeah, that's you know, basically what that means. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like most people don't got nothing to manage. So I have people reach out to me like mm. they need a manager, and I'm like, what you doing? And we're like, well, you know, I need to get in the studio. I'm like, yeah, well, you ain't got nothing to manage. Like, that's you know what I was saying. saying. Like, so like, like yeah, so they don't got nothing to manage. So like the music, man. I ain't really excited about it. I want to do the music. When I did, when I was doing the music, I was, it was 15 years ago. So it was like, I ain't really got the patience exactly. to even be going through that process. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No yeah. more. I, I'd rather not. Okay. And it ain't as much money. It's a longer play. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it ain't really worth my time to even put no. Yeah, they had, I had to get an upfront check to, to do anything. But I can do more from, from a consulting standpoint. I can do more from a consulting, from a marketing standpoint. I got folks who still gonna answer my phone call so I can make the connections. But like me getting out aggressively, hitting the clubs, working with the DJs, yeah. doing all that, being in the studio, that ain't gonna never Where happen. Why you and nigga on board just gonna do that? You do what you do. I, it's gonna shift focus. Like the biggest thing, when, yeah, when, like, yeah, if you're trying yeah. to grow something big, you gotta have like laser beam focus. Mm -hmm. Like everybody be talking about multiple streams of income and all that. That's great, but it's like you got to get one thing really popular. Really popular. You can't be you know a jack of all trades. Yeah, and multiple nothing. jacks of all trades. And yeah, they yeah. tell you, well, multiple streams of income, such and such said multiple streams of income. But like one of my big homies said, uh, one of my mentor big homies said, you know, multiple streams of income is a tool of the rich, not a tool to get rich. Mm -hmm. So you got to get something really popping. Popular. Then once you get it popping, now you can grow, start other companies. And now you got a team to run up. Like Jay, he got all, he's, it was just music. Yeah. Then once he got to Jay, yeah, other now he got all the other companies, yeah. exactly. but he ain't got a touch on them. Rock exactly. Nation, all the different companies, exactly. they running without them. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's how you that's how you got to do it. So I'm laser focused. People try to hit me with the music. I'm like, I can you know consult you or whatever you want to do that. But like, <laughs> yeah. I ain't trying oh, to. Yeah, so how people to get in touch with you? So uh, I mean, I'm all on the internet. So you can go to my website, markwellrussell.com. M a r q u e l r u s s e l dot com. I'm on YouTube, Instagram, whatever your favorite social media platform. Same thing. Russell's, same thing all over the place. Well, let me ask you this. I don't think this has been asked. With what you do in regards to uh, business and things of that nature, do you look at guys like Gary V, Grant Cardone, guys of that nature who speak about financial literacy similar to yourself, do you feel like there's not a person of color who is able to do or articulate themselves the way that you are? Because you don't really look on there and see a lot of people who do that. I mean, most folks, most folks intimidated by, yeah. um, intimidated to put themselves out there. So they're intimidated. So most people, they, they see white as better. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they'll look at a Gary Vee or a Grant Cardone. Like, and and I, I tell people, I, I unsubscribe from Grant Cardone because I was watching one video, one interview he was doing, and he was saying he plugged in with a lot of black folks. So he yeah. was like, he basically said, I should be able to say the N word. That's what he said. That's what oh, he wow. said. I know that. What's that name? Grant, Grant Cardone. 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 Yeah. But he did. He did. He did. Kill him, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Do what the man. No, no, no. Do what the man said in the interview, man. You can go to YouTube and see it. And it's like, <laughs> like I be telling my partners and all this. I'm like, people who in the, who in the business world. I'm, I told them, and they ain't heard it. Like they at the Grant Cardone event now. The 10X conference. Yeah, it ain't yeah. nothing wrong with it. Like I tell, they still my partners, but I'm like, they like you going to the 10X conference this year. I'm like, bro, I ain't got no money for this, man. Like exactly. you know what I'm saying? That's how, that's what he said on video. So imagine yeah. what he's saying. Oh yeah. He, he's cool. saying it when he ain't oh, on video. Crazy. He's yeah. saying it when he ain't on video, but oh, on the video he said, video he said, hey man, somebody reach out, let me know, just give me permission to be able to say the end word. I should be able to say it because I'm I really I'm really light skinned because my people, a lot of my people are black. That kind of yeah. was the conversation. So to answer your question, bro, it's like a lot of them just are scared to put themselves out there. Mm -hmm. exactly. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we see we gotta have like white validation, we see white as better. You know what I'm saying? And when, it, when in reality, folks want to see more of us putting ourselves out there. And it's a lot of them. Like my partner, David Shans, he got this brand called Sleepers for Suckers. Like he popping, he put a lot of stuff out for entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people doing their thing, Eric Thomas. Um, but it's like you said, it's not as many. Right. Because more of us just ain't putting ourselves out. Most people ain't, they ain't doing stuff like this. That's why I love what y'all doing. Yeah. Like you ain't waiting for nobody to put you on no platform. You create your own platform sure. and then you bring other people on. So everybody like, well, we don't get a seat at the table. Like y'all create your own table. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's really what it's all about. But enough of us ain't doing it. Enough of us ain't doing it. Mm -hmm. So how you feel about that? Like you think, what would you, what would the game you is? You'll get, you'll give, right? To tell a nigga, create your own platform. Like, cause you're an entrepreneur business. Right. You know what I mean? So what the, What's the game you would give? Man, like you said, create your own platform. So if somebody asked me the other day, like, man, I want to speak up some more events this year. He was like, what's the best way to do it? And I'm like, well, do your own event. Do your own event 
I don't care if five or ten people, twenty people show up. You did. Yeah. You got your first event done. Exactly. Use those videos for your next event, and then everyone just get bigger and bigger. You yeah. just start your own. Like if you like music, I mean, if you like if you like music, you can have your own music review podcast where you reviewing the latest music. Like this yeah. little dude Ryan that my four and five my five year old watch. Man, he make you know twenty thirty million a year mm -hmm. reviewing toys on YouTube. That's you true. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. six. You know what I'm saying? He got a show on Nickelodeon. We for Christmas we he got stuff all you know we buying toys with with his brand on. Man, five or six years old. If you like um, sports, you can have this could be a sports center. Yeah. You can have your own sports center set exactly. up where you giving the hood perspective on sports. sports. Like exactly. the fight that happened last night, you got your own perspective. So like create your own platform, whatever your thing is. Create your own platform. Start trying to get, start running behind these record labels. You know, stop DM and PM. You know, trying to get P them to listen to your music. Yeah. Exactly. Get get popping. Yeah. And then P them going. They going. They going hit. They going reach out. Whatever your version of is of one of these, start it. Start it. Whatever yeah. it is. Whatever you want to talk about. You don't even gotta have this. Like you yeah. might. Well, you may say, well, I don't got this setup. I don't got the mic. It don't matter. Use your iPhone. Mm -hmm. Just start doing some selfie videos. Yeah. You know, get your little tripod. You say, I can't. I can't afford a tripod. All right, don't do the tripod then. Just use your cell phone. Get hold it up and just up. get going. And then every little money you make, just invest it back, just invest it back. And then you just build your own thing up. That's what I did. So I ain't just, you just start talking, start talking your talk, whatever it is you do, and you keep putting it out, keep putting it out, keep putting it out. Being the why, what to stay away from? Huh? Business wise, what would you advise somebody to stay away from? Business wise, I would recommend stay away from the popular crowd. <laughs> Cause, yeah. So people get pop popular and profitable. Mixed up, yeah. so everybody want to be around everybody who popular. Exactly. But then, but that be the crowd that ain't really getting no money, just look good. Exactly. So I, I'm, I'm always like, keep the circle small, um, and I would, and be cautious of people who talk so much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You already know the people who talk the most got the least going on. They got no money. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you yeah. can't be talking and doing at the same time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the ones who ain't really talking as much, you like Make okay. Shit happen. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I so that. so so yeah, those are things, and then just like, um, and just moving, just just taking action, not overthinking, just getting into action, decide what you're gonna do, get focused, do and then just implement. What's the next goal for your uh, business entity? What's next for you? I know after I know you have your event March seventh, but do you have? I know coming working in corporate America, I used to put in 30, 60, 90 day plans. Do you have mm -hmm. another plan going into the summer? Like what's the next rollout for you? Yeah, so our goal is to help our next our next goal, our ultimate goal is to help a million entrepreneurs add an extra million dollars to their revenue. Okay. Right? And their annual revenue. So that's that equals a true real number. Yeah, that's a real number. And when we did the math, <laughs> so we said a million entrepreneurs mm -hmm. add an extra million dollars to their annual revenue. Mm. And the way that broke down, that's a trillion dollars. A million times a million is a trillion dollars. Right. Yeah. So that's how we impact the global economy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. so and and, it, and and you can do this like my whole business. I don't got no office and I do it all from the laptop. Okay. So we got clients everywhere. So we can impact the whole world through this business model, right? So that's a trillion dollars of revenue, and the way, I, the way we look at it is like it create a ripple effect. So if I help, let's say this company make a million, now they used to cut their own grass, they used to clean their own house, they used to wash their own car. Now they don't got to do none of that. Now they go hire three different companies to t take that. So now they just help three other businesses what? Exactly. Stay in business. Stay in now those three businesses. Pay the blessing. They can pass the blessing. So now when they go out, they can tip bigger, they can go patronize the yeah. local restaurants. They can help other people start a business. So now, how you feel about us not doing it in our community? Um, I think some people are doing it, but I think it's not enough of us doing it because again, a lot of times we just short sighted, mm -hmm. and then um, with a lot of times we just short. -sighted. I think I think it's being done. It's just not being done at the level I feel it should it be should done. Be. I, I think, think I think my opinion. You right too, but I think too niggas don't know how to get together. Right, yeah, I agree. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I look at other races, they'll get together, not just to buy, but to literally do business yeah. together. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, cause we, be, cause we be so scared, like, yeah. we be scared that somebody gonna outshine us, or somebody gonna yeah. make more money of us, or or if somebody um gonna make some money off me. So yeah. like, when I used to be in the streets, saying, so like, my big homies, them used to come through with the bags. So when I used to get the bags, and I'm bringing them back to the, to the circle, I'm like, all right, look, at the bags in. But niggas on round, they like, well, I ain't gonna say all of them, but some of them, niggas be so caught up on like, all right, how much money is Chia yeah. making on exactly. me? And all this, I'm like, yeah, all right. Right. I can't make nothing. Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm bringing them in, like, I'm picking all the risk. I can't it's make like, nothing. God damn. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So we caught up on that, like, how much bro making? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm, I'm making sure they have a number where everybody can eat. So, mm -hmm. and it's still the same thing now. Exactly. It's like, all right, dang, we come together, like, 
what bro doing or yeah. how much he gonna make or is the girls gonna like him or you yeah, know who name gonna be exactly. the thing but these white folks don't link like that these Jewish folk come together and they be like alright Bankhead, this what is it? Are we gonna go through and buy the whole neighborhood? Yeah, all and we, together. Yeah, exactly. and we we gonna buy, we just go. They go buy. They go get an entity. So they'll say, all four of us want to do something, right? Yeah. We'll say, all right, bet we're gonna put. Bro, gonna put up two fifty. I'm gonna put up two hundred fifty thousand. You gonna put up two hundred fifty thousand. Now we got a meal. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go get an LLC and we're gonna call it Fax LLC. And yeah. then we're gonna go down here, and open up a Marriott. It ain't gonna have none of our name on it. It's just gonna have the LLC name on it. And when you go in the hotel mm -hmm. and you see that frame, that, that frame on the back thing, exactly. it's just a company name. But it might be five or ten, ten different eight, people you know, in yeah. there, and we all you ain't nobody tripping. Exactly. So, but we don't we don't be thinking like that. We 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 stuck like in that slave mentality, I'm, bro. I'm exactly. talking to the Jews. Matter of fact, the, the, the Jews do he own this building we in, right? I'm renting from him. And uh I was asking him how can I buy from him? And then so many words, man, he basically was telling a nigga like, man, you know, we stick with our kind, but what you can do is you and your kind <laughs> goddamn come together. Exactly. You know, exactly. just were chopping it up. Exactly. Like, you really can't be G. Like, my grandkids gonna own this. You can, like, if you, if, if some 50,000, and I only got 30, but you can come up with a 10, you can come up with a 10. Mm -hmm. We gotta figure out a way to make all that work, and exactly. the numbers even. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, it's from the, I'm like, the, the okay, that's man, how they move. You know what I mean? He's that's like, how we don't look that's at That's how they move. Get what you got. It ain't about it, if you got enough. You, we need 20 and you got two. We got to find some more of us. Exactly. To to to, make the 20. Because I mean? your two are turning to 10 of them. Bro, that's, how the, me, that's how the Mexican move. We we joke when we see the Mexican. We be like, oh, they packed in their lights. The Mexican, the Mexican mm -hmm. packed up. It's yeah. a it's a hundred on stand at apartment. Yeah, yeah but then they they they'll run up a bag. Like yeah, when my nigga used to be out here, they used to get that money and they used to wrap it up. And they used to send it back to Mexico, cause now a dollar here done turned into ten exactly. now. So every time they get that money, they ain't trying to go out and ball or nothing. They wrap it up, send it send back. It they won't even sell it to you. No. If you're trying to buy that rather way on their own, one exactly. of them exactly. come try to buy That's it. what they do. Boom. They'll, mm. they'll turn your money down. Turn your money down. For they folks. For you know what I'm saying? Man, look at our neighborhoods. The nail salons ain't owned by us. The yeah. house of the house of the the, the, the weed shop. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Ain't yeah. owned yeah. by yeah. these folks. Come over shit. here, they buy it up. Then they start bringing their family over here to run the shops and they exactly. open up another one. And that's how they do it, but we just don't be thinking like that. I ain't gonna flip like y'all ain't been out and seen more of them than us. Who that? Like the other races. They start yeah. multi they multiplying, bro. Yeah, uh, we like, started to see black people in that uh, day shit. Yeah, who exactly. Was at, uh, who was that town center? I when we got in the car. I would look around. I was like, God damn. Yeah. I see three black people. <laughs> oh, in town center, definitely. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, but that's everywhere I go, though. I'm yeah. starting to see they. Yeah, they come along. Probably used to be beautiful houses. Yeah. In certain places. Not the mall. Yeah. Cause they like they everywhere. like oh, we can go to Martin Luther King and we can go out there and open up a, 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 a house shop or we can go open yeah, up exactly. a mail thing. We yeah, can go yeah, open up a whole exactly. plaza. You go to Old National. They they buying everything. They like cause we 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 just want to sit around. We want to look. Cap Creek too. The majority the majority of black folks, man. Our Here. biggest problem, man. We want to look rich yeah. instead of being, being rich. rich. We so we so busy looking at each other like oh he got the Balenciaga he might be getting a little money. Yeah. Not knowing you can go on you know you can go to Old National and get them from the um from the what's the name you yeah. know what I'm saying. Exactly. So, so they ain't really you got no money because you got some ballistic exactly. on. Like, exactly. like niggas who don't who got the most money don't look like it anyway. Exactly. But we just think different. Let me ask you this: You did a book, right? Yeah. Talk about the book a little bit. So I got so I did a book called Breaking the Cycle, and basically that was the first book I did. Yeah. That's what we did the movie on, and basically how we came up with that is so when I got introduced to this whole world, I got I started getting introduced to people like. Les Brown, he like a motivational speaker. He like mm -hmm. the only, he was like one of the only black motivation. If you heard of, heard of Les Brown, folks? I know he is. Check bro out. So we got, we got introduced to bro. And I started like taking a whole bunch of notes. And I got introduced to like Tony Robbins and mm -hmm. Miles Monroe and a whole bunch of different people who just think differently and talk differently. And I just started taking all these notes. Mm -hmm. So I basically took all my notes mm -hmm. and then put it into a book. Cause I was like, dang, what if I knew this when I was growing up? Exactly. Like when I was 12, 13, 14, 15. So I put it into a book and was like, all right, this is how we're gonna put it out there. It's so still that, out for sale and yeah. people gonna get yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. So it's called Breaking the Cycle. I think it's breakingthecycle.com. So um, I am breakingthecycle.com. Okay. So that was that. And then basically how this, this marketing process, we got a book called The Millionaire Expert. So basically it's called The Millionaire Expert, how coaches, consultants, and others are turning their knowledge and expertise into million dollar empires. Mm -hmm. So basically showing you how to take your knowledge and expertise. Yeah, how to take your knowledge and expertise, package it up, you know, turn it into an actual business. Whether okay. that's coaching, author, speaker, whatever you is. know, whatever you want to do, whatever your expertise is, you turn it into a I business. I want to ask you this, right? Uh, I'm going to switch gear for a minute. You stuck on the island. I say everybody this. You're going to take three albums with you. 
would that be? It don't matter the genre. Three albums. Three albums. I'm going to take that Outkast of Kumina. Okay. <laughs> On top. You don't need that now. Yeah, that's, you don't because you can just let that one ride. Yeah. I'm, but I'm going to take that Outkast of Kumina. I'm going to take, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. man, that's tough. What else I'm going to take? I might take that. If so, we once come to, come to my head, I'm probably take that T.I. I'm serious. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me think of one more. Uh, dang, bro. Probably gonna take that. Um, meet meal wins and losses. Wins and losses. Yeah, that'd yeah. be hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. I want to do that with you. I want to do a word association game with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a word. You say the first thing that comes to your mind. Your first response. You ready? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, God. Um, uh, my co-creator. Money. Get plenty of it. Family. Number one. Chill Gates. The man. Legend. Me. Evil. It is what it is. God. The unstoppable. Alright, my nigga. Appreciate you coming through. Sure, bro. Yeah. Been another episode of Fat Podcast. Fat Podcast. Chill yeah. Gates in the beginning. Shout out to my she G said. Yeah. My nigga Q, we here. Appreciate you, bro. What's up, bro? Can't believe it. Can't believe, can't believe. I pull up, watch a chain season. Ice cold, watching chain beam. Blink, blink, blink. We been on fire. Been on fire. Been on fire. Luck, if you wanna try it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can't believe it. Can't believe, can't believe.